Welcome back, it's me Lou, and I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. And today we are looking at this. It's from the Masters of the WWE Universe line from Mattel. We have Stephanie McMahon, the evil billion dollar skull queen. So if you're unfamiliar with this line of toys, uh, Mattel took Masters of the Universe and kind of blended it in with the WWE Universe. So you're essentially getting WWE superstars, but kind of in that He-Man aesthetic. And what we have here is we have Stephanie McMahon. It's pretty cool. Um, it feels very retro, um, but that's kind of the intent. And yeah, I'm kind of excited to find this figure. I found this. This figure's been out for a long time. Um, I got this maybe like a month ago. I found it at Walmart. But it's just now that I'm getting around to reviewing it. I've been caught up with other things. Um, it looks neat. It's it's fun. I love these WWE figures. Like, unfortunately, I believe the the Masters of the WWE Universe line is actually coming to an end soon. I think there might be one or two waves left um, at the most. I think, and they're they're still gonna use this style of body, but it's gonna they're the figures are gonna look more like retro wrestling action figures, like what we got in the '80s from Remco, like with their AWA figures. You know, so they're going to lose this kind of like fantasy barbarian kind of gimmick. Uh, which, for me, I'm kind of sad to see go away. But at the same time, I'm kind of excited just to get like plain looking wrestlers. Uh, so let's examine this figure. Uh, first off, with the package design, I've said this before. Um, I'm not too keen on the color usage for the, the WWE stuff. It's kind of pastel-y. It it's not as loud and as bold as I think it should look. I do like I do appreciate the logo. I think it's a cool throwback to the old WWF logo, but I think their color palette here could use some work. Um besides that, I think the bubble does a great job of framing the figure. You know, you, you really see what you're getting here and I don't know, this looks awesome. I love 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 the illustration they always give you at the top. It's very reminiscent of the old He-Man figures. Over here we have a cool fantasy like illustration of stephanie mcmahon she's wearing that hunter hearst helmsley um skull helmet and the crown uh she used to be daddy's little girl but now the billion dollar princess has tapped into the chaotic magic within dark depths of ww eternia to become its evil queen so this is very very sounding like <laughs> dungeons and dragons and fantasy you know with chaotic magic and all that kind of crazy stuff. Um, here she holds her crystal ball. You can slap on that crown. Um, she's articulated. And the other figures in the wave are Goldberg. The heroic human jackhammer. We have Kane. I have Kane. I'll review him eventually. Uh, Stephanie McMahon, which we, we're taking a look at here. And we also have another ultimate warrior. The heroic champion of WW Eternia. And I, I have that figure also. I'll get around to reviewing it one of these days. We have the comic book. <laughs> okay. I'm looking at this comic book and it's kind of a... It's a weird... I don't know. It's a weird pose for her. Um, this doesn't really resemble Stephanie McMahon. It, for some reason, I almost, uh, <laughs> almost want to say it looks like Rosario Dawson. Or, uh, I don't know. Just because, I don't know, her face doesn't look right. And it's weird that she's, at first I thought she was like squatting underneath a tree. But she's clearly, I guess, sitting atop like a, a hill. But yeah, at first I thought she was like squatting under, under a tree like, <laughs> I don't know, maybe she went camping and like taking a dump or something. Um, over here, she's, like, casting a spell or, like, looking into the visions. And then she sees, like, Hunter over here. Uh, Stephanie McMahon, the evil billion-dollar skull queen. The great battle has begun. A darkness threatens to consume WW Eternia. As the faction of the evil superstars rise from parts unknown to control the balance of power. But the heroic superstars accept the challenge to defend the planet and determine who are the masters of the WWE universe. Cool illustration. 
Um, so she stands at 5 feet 9 inches. Her superstar powers, she could conjure dark magic, and she has the voice of authority. Her foreign objects include her crystal ball of chaos and her skull queen mask. And over here we have a cool little comic strip. And the other figures in the wave. Uh, first impressions of the figure in the tray. Um, really impressed. Uh, the, the face likeness, I think, is okay. It's not the greatest. And uh, I think this is a cool figure to have. Even if you're not a fan of wrestling, you can easily just blend this figure into your Masters of the Universe line and pretend it's an all-new character. You know, maybe she's like Evelyn's, like, <laughs> you know, half-sister or something wacky like that, or her cousin from, like, New York. Um, get her out. I can never open these things up like a normal human being. Um, all right, so we have Stephanie McMahon over here. We have her crystal ball slash chaotic wand or whatever it is. And then we have the Skull Queen mask, which is kind of like a shout out to Hunter and his skull mask. Uh, the detail on this, it's beautiful. It's sculpted really well. Um, if you're a customizer, I'd easily just take like an ink wash to this and just, you know, give it a nice, maybe like a metallic wash or a, a, a black wash. And it's really bring out that chainmail detail here. It's really impressive. Uh, this looks cool. I want to say this is the same thing that Evil Lynn has. And maybe, you know, it's just repainted. And then here's Stephanie herself. You know, if you've handled any of these figures by now, they all feel the same. Um, there's a lot of reuse here. Um, let me grab e Evil Lynn. So here's the actual Origins Evil Lynn figure. Uh, so if you look closely enough, they share a lot of the same parts. The arms are identical, the lower waist is identical, this one's just repainted, and it looks like it has more detail than it does. Um, same leg mold. Um, this one has the has the wrestling boots, though, where this one kind of has more of the fantasy barbarian boots. This has, like, the laces and the straps. Same arms. Um, even though they share similar designs for their helmets, this one actually looks like a better sculpt. It's hard to see because of the reflective nature of the silver paint, but the detail here is a little bit crisper. Um, it's a little bit more unique, whereas the skulls look much much larger and placed at the top of the crown. There's a smaller skull that, that kind of runs towards the base down here, and it, it looks awesome. I think this is really cool. She has the longer hair in the back, nicely sculpted. I want to say, I think the upper torso here is reuse. I want to say this might be taken from the Sorceress, I think. Uh, in terms of articulation, the head rotates. Even though there's this, you know, long hair, it still, you know, it doesn't get in the way too much. Arms rotate, and they can go out. Uh, elbow bend, only single jointed, and there's an elbow swivel. Waist articulation... Uh, wrist articulation, they, they rotate, and then they can move side to side. Uh, this one does side to side also. Legs kick up, and they can kick out. Yeah, so that means decent. It's, it's what you come to expect from the female um, action figures from this line. Uh, as for the mask accessory, so it looks like... Does this clip in? Okay, so if you look close enough... There's a little slot right there on the side of her head, and then there's another slot right there. There's two tabs on the on the mask, one here and one here, and you just tab those in. So it's a nice fit. 
I think this would have been better if they colored the eyes black because I think it it pull it all together better. You know, there's no the eyes kind of have this like silver blue on them, and but there's no blue on the body of the figure. And I think with that silver, it doesn't really the eyes don't pop out as much as they should. I think they should have went with a black color, like either a matte black or a gloss black to really just tie it in, and also just to make the eyes pop a little. And then she has her chaotic staff of evil. And that's a cool figure. I think it's worth a purchase. Even if you're not a fan of WWE, just get this and, you know, you just pretend she's a new character. Um, and speaking of Evil Lynn and uh, female uh, Masters of Universe figures, over here we have the Super 7 version of Evil Lynn. This came out maybe like two or three years ago. It's a great figure. I, I love this figure a lot. The articulation is kind of wonky around the legs. Um, but, I don't know. I think as a static figure, if you just leave it there, it looks decent. It's kind of that retro design. Uh, so this is based off more of the animated model of the character from the cartoon show. Uh, she has a waist swivel, but it's spring-loaded, so it's a punch feature. And she kind of has that cloth goods cape. Yeah, so we have... This nice threesome going on right here. All excellent figures. So if I had to rate Stephanie McMahon on a scale of 1 to 10, um, I'd say about a 7 to an 8. It's, it's a solid figure. The detail's there. The likeness is all right. Um, there, aren't, you know, there aren't too many female figures in this line. I think the only one that comes to mind is Becky Lynch. I can't remember if they gave us anyone else beyond that. Um, it's, but it's it's cool. It's like I said, this is a nice figure to have. You know, wh whether or not you're a fan of WWE, um, you know, this this if you throw on if you throw on your Masters of the Universe shelf, no one's gonna know any better unless they're like a hardcore fan. But even so, this just looks cool. And if you have the Hunter Hearst Helmsley figure, you know, if you have the Triple H figure, you kind of need this, so you kind of have that power couple duo going on. I really like how this um, crown mask feature just plugs in into her helm like that. You know, it's it's so subtle that you, you know you barely even notice the sockets, and even if you do see them, it's easy just to you know say that's like a you know recessed detail. But the fact that these have tabs and it plugs in, it's really cool. It works really well. I kind of wish though they'd give her a cape. Um, I think it'd complete the look better. Uh, maybe we could just try this. All right, this cape, does this want to come off? I don't want to force it off if it doesn't come off. All right, so this cape comes off. Um, all right, the head pops off. And let's see how she looks with a cape. I really, I really want to complete this look. <laughs> yeah, she looks a lot better with a cape. Look at that. Yeah, they should have. They should have given her a cape. It looks. It, it, I think with a cape, it makes her look more regal, gives her a greater sense of authority, and it makes her stick out a little bit more than like the Becky Lynch or the Evil Lynn figure. You know, kind of like almost gives her a different personality. Yeah, I like the cape. The cape look on this figure looks really great. Yeah, so if you have the Super Seven figure, just loan her the cape. You know, I don't think Evelyn's going to mind. It's like girls when they're like roommates and they share like the clothes in their closet. Or if they're sisters, you know. Nah, but sometimes they, they argue. You know, they don't want to share their clothes. I've seen that happen. <laughs> okay. All right, so um, wrapping this up. Um, it's a great figure. Buy it. Buy it, buy it, buy it. I think it's awesome. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, I appreciate all the support, comments, and likes you've given me in the past. Um, I try to deliver daily, dependable, solid, worthwhile content. You know, um, I'm not the best reviewer around. Definitely not the most professional. But I like to at least think that I provide you know some insight and knowledge that you find uh, you know entertaining or just informative. 
So until the next video, go out there, buy some toys, play with your toys, and just take care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, later.